Well, well. What to do, what to do. Got tons of projects. I'm not allowed doing nothing. I had to get a surgery. I had to get a weird looking mole. Came back with uh, cancerous cells in it, traces of them. I had to get that removed, so I've got 13 stitches in my chest. I'm not allowed to do nothing. Let me tell you, this sucks. Off work. Not allowed lifting, not allowed stretching. Not allowed to have my arms above my head. Not allowed doing nothing. So, I'm actually off work. Sitting in the garage. Looking at all the goodies. And I can't do nothing. Oh well. I guess I just have to rest up and get back at it and hit it hard. So, but been messing around with the computer a little bit. I did find a little bit of information on this old mini bike here. It's uh, it's made by a company called Speedway, Speedway Corporation or something like that. But, uh, they made Speedway mini bikes. And they were in uh, Mansfield, Ohio. That's not too far from here. Um, and what I read was these are some 70s old mini bikes, and it was kind of disgruntled uh, Rupp employees that started making their own bikes, trying to make better bikes than Rupp. And uh, I, I don't know, it was kinda, almost sounded like they were about across the street, started making these. So, figured out what this is. This is an old Speedway. Cool looking. I've been looking for an engine for it. And I saw uh, this old little mini bike with this little three and a half horse Briggs. Said it ran, just said it needed a clutch and a chain and a throttle and stuff. So I picked it up for real cheap. I thought about putting that engine on that one, I'm doing something with this, find something else to put on it or something. I've had ones that look similar to this. I'm I'm not exactly sure what brand this is here. It's got the little foot brake and everything. I know I've seen them before. Kind of look like that blue one that I had before these two, but not sure. So I'm still debating on putting this engine here on that one or put it on this one and doing something with that. One thing I don't like is this one's got the uh, gas tank connected to it. I'd really like to find an older something where I can run a fuel line and have that gas tank functional on there. I thought I could have it like a little reserve tank with that engine, but yeah, that's kind of stupid, I guess. So I might might end up getting that put on there, or might put it on here, or keep looking for an engine for this. So not sure. Got plenty of time to sit out here and think and do nothing, I guess. I did a uh, little troubleshooting a while back and got a coil ordered for this KE100. It's really weird. It's like uh, push it over. If you're grabbing a hold of the connector there, it did have just a little rigged up something. If you're holding that and you kick it over, it'll shock the crap out of you. If you put a wire or something on there and put it on the cylinder, it sparks. But then once you hook up the spark plug, you ain't got no spark there. So, and I've tried multiple spark plugs, different gaps, all kinds of stuff, and just no spark. So I'm guessing it's just not uh, boosting the spark up enough to clear the resistance of the plug, I guess. I don't know. So, got a new coil ordered. Have to get the old lady out here, show her to work some wrenches, get some stuff bolted on some of this stuff for me. That's what I had her moving this in and out of the truck. That. Had her out here pull starting this thing while I'm working the choke and stuff. Pretty funny. But I get back to it. Get healed up. Start getting some more videos for you guys and keep you guys updated. So tons of goodies. Can't do nothing. Let me know if you do happen to know anything else about these Speedway mini bikes. Uh, pretty neat. I'll figure something out with it. Thanks for watching, guys.